Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Real Life Mama. My name is Mackenzie. In this video, it'll be two separate parts, but this is the first part to our Sam's Club haul for this month. We were planning on getting more items, but um, my husband took the kids to Sam's Club today with him because I had to run some errands, and on the way there, he texted me saying that he realized he forgot to get the wagon, um, out of the trunk so we he was very limited on trunk space which is why this haul is going to be split up into two so this is what he could fit in the car for the first haul and then in a little bit you'll be seeing what I get to finish out the haul that we need for this month so as you can see this is not a lot of items but we did spend about hundred and fifty five dollars today we got um, some strawberries. I believe this is two pounds of strawberries. I will grab another one of these the next time that I head into Sam's. We got a twin pack of the King's Hawaiian, the sweet rolls. We like to have these just as a side item for dinner. And I've also been wanting to make some sort of like um, hamburger slider. So I thought getting two of those would be good just to have on hand. We, as usual, got a certain kind of Reese's. Um, we've only been getting the Reese's eggs, but my husband said that the bag he saw was a mix of the milk chocolate and the white chocolate, so he got these instead because we're not big fans of the milk chocolate or of the white chocolate. Um, so I actually didn't know that they had probiotics there. I've never really looked that hard in, I guess, their like pharmacy section. But this was on sale this month. I believe it was either three or five dollars off for an 80 count. And it was about the same price that it would be the one we, my husband and I use this and normally at the store it's like 18 to 20 dollars. So it was a little bit like more expensive by like two dollars, but you get a lot more in it. And I looked at the instant savings. My kids use the, um, the Ollie brand. I think that's what it's called. Um, it's like a little gummy. It's a multivitamin and a probiotic. That is supposed to be on sale today or this month as well, but he couldn't find it. So I'm going to look for that the next time that I go into Sam's or if I do a pickup order, I'll put that in there. Um, but that was on sale. The pull-ups we weren't completely out of, but we did. We were going to need them at some point this month. So my husband went ahead and got those. These have already been broken into because um, this is the reason why my husband went to Sam's today was because we needed more of these diapers for our son Adam to sleep in. Um, we find that they just hold more than the pull-ups do, so we like to have him sleep in those at nighttime. Um, and I believe, I think these, I don't know, there was two or three things that were on sale. So I know one of them was the probiotic, one of them was the body armor, and it may have been these diapers. I'm not sure. I will post in the comments below when I look at the receipt. But then these body armors I know were on sale. Um, these are the 24 of the 12 ounce bottles. I did ask him, I think, to get, because Sam's, they have different ounces and like the count is different based off of if you want the bigger bottles or the smaller bottles. So because I ran out of these from last month, I asked him to get me, I think it was like a 20 count of, it was either 18 or 20 ounces of the body armor, um, but they must not have had them. So he got these, but um, as you've seen in my previous videos, I will do like three fourths of a mason jar of coconut water, and then I will fill in the rest of the space with the body armor. And that's just a good drink for me. Um, since I'm still breastfeeding and also I'm it's making me like the taste more of coconut water I could potentially like drink it without any flavoring, but I don't know I like still like the flavor of these so I'd like to do that um, So this is what we got I guess on round one of our grocery haul and now I will show you the Second part of our grocery haul Hey everyone, welcome back. It is now Tuesday and we just got home from finishing up our Sam's Club haul. I've got the two older boys playing in the backyard and the baby is in the bassinet down here. So if you hear any chatter, that is him. Um, he's getting ready to eat, but I wanted to film this quickly. So we spent about $175. The last haul you just saw, we spent about $155. Um, so we should be set for the rest of the month. 
we are going on a trip um, next week for my sister's wedding. So I got some more snack items than I was anticipating. We also got a case of water, but I'm not gonna tell you everything we got. I'm just gonna show you. So here we go. So with us traveling, I wanted to make sure we had enough dog food for the dogs while we were gone. They are going to stay at someone's house. We found her on Rover. So this is going to be the first time staying with her. We've already done a meet and greet. They got along great with her dog. Um, she seemed nice. She has kids as well. So hopefully it'll be a good fit. We have 35 pounds of the lamb and rice recipe. This was about $43, I believe. Um, they did have sam, salmon and they also had chicken there. One of my dogs has an allergy. We're not sure what. He's just like he licks his paws constantly. His skin breaks out. We've tried all different shots and medicine and steroids and everything and pretty much they told us they think it's just like a combination of food allergies environmental and like even one lady thought that he might be allergic to bugs that are in the grass um so we try to avoid chicken because we know that's like a very common allergy with dogs so that's why we got the lamb we've also had i mean we've gotten the chicken before but he just starts licking his paws so much it's like not worth it um, and we also have done the salmon as well. I don't remember if I just said that or not. Um, so we have this fun mix right here. It's these Cheez-Its, Rice Krispie Treats, Pringles, and the Scooby-Doo snacks. We have gotten this before. They, the boys both wanted a Scooby-Doo snacks on the way home. Every time we go to Sam's, we get, they have like a pizza and a hot dog combo. The pizza combo, we normally get two pizzas, two drinks for like $5. And then the hot dog is like a dollar or $2. So we did that after we went shopping. Um, my oldest had a hot dog. My middle had a slice of pizza, which their slices of pizza pretty much are the equivalent of two slices of pizza. And then um, Adam, my middle, he ate that entire slice of pizza. They both were still hungry by the time we got to the car, which was like 10 minutes after they finished eating. So they wanted a snack, so I let them have some Scooby-Doo snacks. We, I've been seeing these Just Bear um, chicken strips on Instagram and on other people's grocery hauls, so I wanted to give them a shot. It did say that they are there for a limited time, so I'm not sure at what point when they're going to be like taking them away. Um, I've started reading the labels more careful when I'm there. So my last Sam's Club grocery haul, I got a big block of Parmesan cheese that I've been shredding. I still have about a fourth of it left, but I went to go look for more and they didn't have it anymore. So that might have been something they had for a limited time. I'm pretty sure Costco sells it like on a consistent basis. So I might just have to start shopping at Sam's Club and Costco, which they're within a mile or two miles of each other. So it's not that big of a deal, but our Costco is like the only one within like 40 or 50 miles um in north carolina where we're at so it's just like always packed always busy taking the three boys in there um it kind of gets overwhelming for me just because i don't shop there consistently so i don't know where everything is and then i feel like i have to walk up and down the aisles and it's just it's a lot to do by myself so that might be something my husband and i do on the weekends which the weekends it's like 10 times as crazy as it is on the weekdays and it's still crazy during the weekdays so it's just something i need to get used to but the costco bias does have gas the sam's club does not so that is another perk of us going to costco over sam's but we haven't really used it in a while um which is silly because i just paid for the membership again at costco so back to sam's club but that's my little costco rant um so i got two things of ground beef these each are four pounds so i got eight pounds total of ground beef each one of these packs was about 18 dollars um so this should definitely last us at least a month if not a little bit longer so my last sam's club haul when we bought all the meat for the month we still are set on the chicken thighs the pork and the chicken breasts but the reason why i only bought one package of the ground beef instead of two was because when my mom came down or both I was my mom and my dad when they came down to meet Evan uh, were three month old this was in January or early February I don't remember they cooked up an entire pack of one of these for me so I already had pre-cooked um, ground beef ready to go but so that's why I only got one 
but then it, I don't, I think it was just all in one bag when my mom cooked it. So I didn't know how much to measure it out. And I wasn't really thinking about it when I was cooking. So I used way too much ground beef, like for my beef stroganoff. And I, I don't remember what the other meal was that I made with it. So we just had a lot of, I think it, maybe it was tacos. Um, we just had a lot, like two pounds worth of meat for tacos and for beef stroganoff and I normally would only use one. So we kind of just blew through that quicker than I was realizing. So um, with this, I'm gonna portion these out. They're kind of already separated as you can see. So this would be two pounds, that would be two pounds. So I might just cut these in half again and freeze them. So you, I know I'm getting a pound in each, which is normally what we need for a meal. We have this uncured Canadian bacon. This is what my husband will use for his breakfast bagels. I'll dice this up and put it in eggs. Um, sometimes we'll just like not fry it, but we'll just kind of warm it up on the stove and have this as like a, a protein side when my kids have waffles in the morning. Um, and this is a two pack. So I will, well, all of this is going in the freezer because we already have one in the fridge that we're working through. But normally when we're completely out, I'll just kind of cut it right here, put one in the fridge, one in the freezer, and then we have it for a while. But this probably won't last us an entire month, but I, we, like I said, we're still working through one of these packs now. So hopefully we'll get through the end of April, if not middle of May before we need to get a new one. Wow, I can't believe it's already April, April and like we're talking about May already. That just seems wild to me. <laughs> Time flies. Um, this is another thing that we I picked up for our car ride. Um, just it's a probiotic mega immune mix and then an immune booster. Um, it says this has almonds, ginger, cranberries, cherries, hazelnuts, walnuts, cashews with an elderberry extract. And this has almonds, cherries, hazelnuts, blueberries, and it looks like pistachios. Um, yeah, pistachios. So I haven't tried these yet, but it looks good. And with us traveling, when we went to Georgia last month, we kind of just got really like not very, I guess, clean snacks. It was a lot of junk food. And our stomachs were like very upset for the next couple of days when we got back, just after eating all the chips and the eating out and everything. So I was trying to keep that in mind. Obviously that's all junk, but I wanted to kind of have a healthier option for like when we're more hungry, like the nuts will help with the protein. And um, I saw a guy on Instagram who is a, I don't know, like a, a doctor for the gut. I forget what his, like the official term was, but he said like every morning he eats a handful of nuts, blueberries for the antioxidants or just berries in general and was it like he drinks like light coffee or something like that um so i'm not a coffee drinker but i do like to eat berries and nuts so that's kind of was in the back of my mind when i was picking that up if you've seen these drinks or know who logan paul is this is like his brand of i guess it's comparable to like the body armor or it's like the healthy version of gatorade so I was originally going to get a contain another case of body armor because when my husband went, they were like four or five dollars off, but they didn't have that case anymore. And the only other option had the orange mango, which I'm not a big orange mango fan. And it was like the 20 ounce bottles. Um, so I was just like, I'm, if I'm not even going to drink everything in the pack, I'm not going to get it. So I saw these. Um, I know... Sam's Club, sorry if you can hear Evan in the background, I'm gonna feed him after this. I know Sam's Club has had these, but my, these are new to my Sam's Club. So it's Tropical Punch, Lemon Lime, and Blue Raspberry. And I, I went on his Instagram, and he has like a comparison of the Blue Gatorade to the Blue Raspberry, and this like blew the Blue Gatorade out of the water. So I'm excited to be drinking these. As you know, I'm breastfeeding. So this does have coconut water in it, but I will still continue to probably pour, like I do with my body armor, pour half of one of these in with like three-fourths of, um, I think it's a quart mason jar of coconut water. So I won't be drinking all this in one sitting. It'll be divided up into two. So that helps kind of cut down on the sugar because the coconut water does have a decent amount of sugar in it just naturally. Um, I got a thing of blueberries. If I don't go through the blueberries by the time we're leaving, 
next Tuesday. So we have a week to go through this. If we don't go through it in time, I'll just put it in the freezer and we'll use that for smoothies. Same goes with the strawberries that you just saw in that haul my husband did. I was gonna get more strawberries and then I was like, why am I gonna buy more when we're probably gonna have to freeze it anyways? We'll just kind of hold off on that and go through what we have. Um, sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> kind of embarrassing. Um, okay, so I, we this is the first time I've seen Members Mark dishwasher packs. Um, we normally get like Cascade or I think it's Finish Dry, something like that. Um, so these were a good price. This is like $10 for 105 and the most comparable one was like $17 for 105 So we're going to give these a try and see how they work out. I, I still have like 10 or 12 pods left, but obviously we do at least one, if not two loads of, um, dishes a day. So, I mean, cause we're all pretty much at home all the time. So we kind of, I, I should like hand wash more dishes, but I'd rather just wait until the dishwasher's done and put more in there. So that's, I guess like, I don't want to say I'm lazy because I'm like taking care of the kids and doing other things and laundry and breastfeeding, but it kind of just helps save me some sanity a little bit. This, we are almost out of maple syrup. This is organic. Uh, maple syrup, it's member's mark. It was $12 for this, but it's, it's like 32, yeah, 32 ounces. And when I was looking at the ingredients, it only has organic maple syrup in it. So I thought we would give this a, sh a shot. I know the syrup at Aldi is like seven or eight dollars if you want to do their, um, like their like signature brand. And even then there's still other additives in it. So I thought if the boys like this, I'll probably just start buying it there. Um, not a bad price for maple syrup for how much you're getting and it's organic. And then last but not least, we got a case of water. This was like $4 for all of these. We still have some like five or six water bottles left from our last time we bought this for our last trip. But obviously with me breastfeeding and with the boys, we'll always bring one of their um, sippy cups with us. So we like to have these in the car to fill up when we need to, as opposed to having to stop and buy a water at like a fast food place or a gas station. Um, so this is everything. Yeah, Evan's really freaking out. Um, this is everything. It was about $175. This will last us definitely through this month, if not longer. Um, yeah. I want to say thank you. If you are still watching, your support means seriously so much to me. Um, when I first started out doing this, I wasn't sure if I would even have any followers and I'm really starting to kind of gain some momentum. So that um, means so much to me that you guys are enjoying the kind of content that I'm putting out. If you are new here, we like to post um, Aldi grocery haul, Sam's Club. I'm gonna start shopping at Costco once more. We do meal plans day in the life, what we eat for dinner, all that kind of content. So if you like food, definitely stick around. That's pretty much what all of my content is centered around. We are a family of five. I have a three-year-old, a two-year-old, and a three-month-old, as you can hear. Um, so I'm gonna start feeding him now, just cause you can hear he's hungry. Um, but as always, I appreciate you being here and I'll see you next time. Bye.